Hello, hello, and thanks for joining me here on another session of Chasing Shadows, where you join me up here on the absolutely gorgeous River Loddon, one of my favourite rivers, as you all know. Well, I've only got about an hour before it gets dark, so uh, I'm going to have to get my skates on, if you know what I mean. So uh, what I'm going to do tonight, uh, I think I'm going to do a bit of chub fishing, because we haven't got a lot of time on my hands, and I know that, you know, with short sessions, chub fishing can be very sort of productive. So what I'm going to do, I've got some of that real stinky old cheese paste, as uh, some of you have seen me uh, use before and eat in uh, some of my previous videos. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to find a few nice swims, um, I'm going to chuck some uh, free bait in, I'm going to pre-bait a few swims, leave them for about 10 and 15 minutes, uh, I'm going to go up to the top end, walk my way down and uh, fish each swim as it goes. Um, some of the eagle eyes amongst you will notice that the old trees now are starting to shed its leaves and uh, with the rivers being so low that's sort of posing quite a bit of a problem because you know a lot of the slack areas where I catch my perch and things they're sort of, the leaves are starting to gather and uh, sort of decaying and uh, it's causing a bit of a problem to sort of get a good bait sort of presentation especially when fishing for perch um, I've had me lobworms sort of going under the leaves and things like that so yeah that's been posing a bit of a problem uh, what we probably need really is a good old rainfall really and uh, so wash the rivers out and get rid of all them leaves and uh, get rid of a lot of the old weed and uh, then we can get on to some proper fishing so um, you know a bit of an update I've been doing too bad really I've been perch fishing for the last sort of two to three weeks and uh, I haven't been doing too bad as I say um, I've had probably about 16 perch uh, over the two pound mark and maybe five of those have been up sort of upper twos which has uh, been pretty good actually I can't moan uh, had a few pike which uh, I can moan about them they've been a right nightmare up to double figures and uh, what I've been doing is uh, just before I sort of what I've been using lobworm uh, I've been dipping them into uh, this uh, bait solution that I've got uh, which is all a little bit hush hush which is a bit sort of uh, fishy uh, and it's got worm extract in and the actual pike are going absolutely mad for it as soon as they sort of you, you, you sort of cast them put it into a slack area if it's a pike in there I've been smashed up and catching loads of pike uh, as you probably see on some of the video I'll show you <laughs> um, but yeah that, that's been a bit mad and uh, and also I had a surprise visit from a from a, a big old barbel double figure barbel you know I've been fishing this stretch which is a it is a barbel water and uh, it's been sort of pretty tricky for some of the barbel anglers which I, I've been sort of speaking to and they've been struggling only here sort of having one or two fish and a lot of people have been blanking so, so I come up here with a light quiver tip rod and uh, that link ledger rig as you seen me using I've sort of gone out there looking for the perch with a 22 inch pan net and I've only gone and smashed out a double figure barbel it took me about 10-15 minutes to land which was a nightmare with that small net as you can quite imagine uh, I was shaking like a leaf. It took me sort of 20 minutes to sort of calm down. I had to leave the fish to rest whilst it calmed down. Oh my God, you know, it's really good that you could sort of still feel like that. You know, I'm 51 years old and I'm still shaking like a leaf catching fish. But that's what I love about fishing. You never know what's around the corner. You never know what you're gonna catch. And uh, yeah, I love it. So um, coming back to tonight, um, what I'm gonna do, I've got my good old quiver tip, medium quiver tip rod. I've got that link ledger. I'm gonna fish a size six hook, big hook big hook with big lumps of paste I'm gonna like I say I'm gonna fish those old swims and that um, it's starting to get dark now so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to love you and leave you get my kit ready and uh, I think I'll have to get myself sorted and get ourselves settled into a swim and see if we can catch some of them old lovely chevin some of them chub for you right without further ado uh, I'm gonna get myself up river and see if I can catch some fish As you can see, I've just come up the bait that I swim. That's a bit of a banker swim, but someone's already in there and he don't look very happy. So uh, I think I'll give that swim a bit of a miss for tonight. <laughs> right, so that's all the swims, pre -baited. I saw the swims pre-baited. Took about 15 minutes. It's uh, well worth putting in all that effort, uh, finding yourself some good swims. But, uh, bit of bait in, not too much as I said, um, and uh, getting those swims ready uh, and then leave them, get yourself sorted, get yourself into uh, your first swim, uh, get yourself ready. Uh, as you can see from uh, the moon there, look there's the moon, honk 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 honk, <laughs> there's the moon, it's uh, starting to get uh, 
cold, <laughs> it's starting to get dark now uh, into that time which is uh, probably the best time for the chub. Uh, the river's looking up a little bit actually, uh, I think it's had a little bit of rain, uh, looking good for a bite so um, yeah, looking forward to this evening, I'll go into dark couple of hours, don't take a lot really, uh, get ourselves a fish, I can tell what year it is. Time of year it is that that runny nose time again. So uh, just a couple of things. If you are coming night fishing, make sure you're nice and warm. I like the old salad pets, they keep you nice and warm. Stop the wind going up your back. Go to a nice hot drink through the night. And uh, if you're comfortable, you're warm, you're gonna enjoy your fishing. If you haven't got the right kit and you've not got enough clothes, nice woolly hat, you're not gonna enjoy your fishing and uh, by God, it can get cold, but the rewards are there, especially with the chub fishing. You're going to get more and bigger fish when it gets dark. So uh, definitely put the effort in. It's uh, definitely worth it. So uh, I sort of got a feeling that the next time I'm going to see you now is probably uh, when uh, it gets dark. So uh, hopefully with a fish in my hand. So um, right, sit back, relax. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get a line out and uh, let's see if we can uh, pull one of them lovely chub out of the river to show you. Yeah, that one didn't want a cat to be caught flying. Give me a right old run for my money. I don't know if you saw that, but he went, found a first weed bed, load of reeds, and uh, hogged himself in there for about three minutes. But uh, I think I was a bit lucky to land that one. And uh, looks quite a nice uh, chub, actually. Right, uh, and before it's dark as well. Oh, yeah, it's a really good chub. Right, let's, uh, I'll get myself sorted and I'll show you in a sec. Hold tight. That's a good start to an evening's fishing. Oh, okay. uh, I'm not going to wait. He's probably into four. And uh, a good start to an evening's chub fishing. And like I say, uh, you know, I haven't got a lot of time on my hands. I've travelled about 40 mile. I've probably got about three or four hours fishing and uh, to catch these little beauties. Uh, yeah, and I've caught that on that link ledger cheese paste. As you know, I like to fish. Uh, yeah, near enough. Perfect condition, I'd say. Gave me a rattle scrap. Took me into a, like I said, like into a reed bed, which uh, the problem is there's still a lot of reeds about and we're sort of, like I say, we're in November. And uh, yeah, um, whereas we had a few more frost by now and uh, a lot of the reeds would have been uh, sort of gone by now. But uh, yeah, this chap found them, but uh, yeah, we caught him, that's the main thing, and uh, there you go, that's a good start, um, if you don't catch any more, well, that's fine isn't it, but uh, I'm sure there should be some more in the bag for us, as to say, right, so uh, I'm going to put this one back a bit further up, not to disturb the swim, so uh, as I said, look, the rewards are there, right, time to go back my friend. <laughs> Wow, God, it's getting cold now. So, um, right, I've fished about seven swims now um, and uh, I've not managed to find any more chub. Uh, they're pretty elusive tonight, if I'm honest. Um, and uh, really, I, I don't think the chub fishing sort of kicked off yet on the Loddon, um, especially, with, you know, the, the weed's still up and there's uh, still a lot of vegetation about. And uh, yeah, so, you know, I get a feeling tonight it's really not gonna happen. So we had that one chub earlier, uh, which was quite nice near enough. I'd say that was about a four pounder. Uh, yeah, so I was really pleased with that. So, um, you know what I mean, uh, we haven't blanked. Uh, God, I can't, can't, can't feel my fingers now. I mean, my toes are so cold. So, um, yeah, um, I, I think I'm probably gonna call it a night. Um, and like I say, I just want to catch up with you today, just to let you know how I've been getting on. So, um, right, well, as normal, thanks for watching tonight. 
keep subscribing. Uh, I think I'm near enough up to 450 subscribers. It'd be really good if by the end of this year I could uh, get up to 500. And um, to be honest, today is probably, I've been doing these videos now for 12 months actually, so uh, really enjoyed that. And like I say, it would be really good if uh, I could get up to 500 by the end of the year. So once again, um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon.